Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot's here again. Today's video, I am joined by my girlfriend, Emily. Hello. We're gonna be doing something today that I have been excited to do for some time and I keep bugging Emily about doing it. Um, every single time we've gone into a charity shop, we've kept our eye out for this game and yesterday we managed to find it. We are gonna be doing a cooking guide Nintendo DS video. This game came out um, many years ago, probably 2008, so that's 11 years ago, um, alongside of the original Nintendo DS, which I've recently done a repair on. This one was the Japanese one. So basically, this game is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a cooking guide for people who can't decide what to eat. There's a little chef dude, who basically talks you through the whole process and I think you can actually speak back to him and then he'll tell you uh, what the next step is. Inside here we have some bits and bobs. Nothing here that anyone really cares about. Is there any sort of actual cooking, like physical cooking guide in here? Ugh! That looks disgusting. That looks absolutely disgusting. We need to figure out something that we want to cook, Emily. What are we thinking? Are we going to do a main course? And a dessert. And a dessert. And a dessert. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that, I'm absolutely fine with that. 245 recipes. So let's go along to, I don't know, we'll, we'll probably skip the salad one. Let's find something a little bit more harder to find. So that's soups, don't care about soups. Noodles, rice and bread. Chicken in Thai red curry. So actually at the top here, they've got sort of the region of where the food is from. So um, maybe let's try and find something from America because that's probably with a chicken pot pie. I mean, that I, sounds perfect. I like chicken. I like chicken. I've never had a chicken pot pie. <laughs> I don't think. I've had a chicken pie, but is a pot pie just a po chicken pie in a pot? As opposed to having like a pastry around the side of it. I think it's just a chicken pie. You think it's just a chicken pie? It's just a chicken pie. It's just a chicken pie. I'm overthinking it. Almond tofu. That sounds pretty nice. 45 minutes for an apple crumble. UK. We've got crepes. Sugar, sugar and crepes, that's uh, France. Japan, dori, dori, doriyaki, that sounds amazing. Tiramisu, Italy, one of Emily's favorite meals. My favorite but dessert. But you haven't cooked it in a while, have you? You haven't made that in a while. I've never made it. You've never made it My at all? My mum always makes it, I've never made it. Right, tiramisu and chicken pot pie. Oh, okay, so then it just has a list with the oh. ingredients. What? And then you tick it. Oh, that's and really then you cool. you add it to your shopping list. Sweet, and okay. And it has a list of utensils you need. Have we got all of that? Probably. You ready? Yeah. Let's go to the shop, get this food, and we're gonna go home and cook it. Here we are, we're back home again. So we're gonna be doing the tiramisu first because the pastry that we bought is like a frozen one which takes four hours to defrost. Adding granulated sugar. So it says add the egg yolks to the bowl and beat them. Can you repeat please? Okay, add the egg yolks to the bowl and beat them before adding granulated sugar. That's quite clever actually. He repeats Sorry. it for you if you say repeat. Next step. Sorry. Next. Pardon. Continue. Okay. Add the egg yolks to the bowl and beat them before adding granulated sugar. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is doing my head in. I'm turning him down. Right, we can switch off the voice detect settings because the second we open our mouths and talk to each other, it thinks that we're talking. It thinks that we're talking to this kid. Right. Oh, it's actually pretty cool because it has a picture of what it's meant to look like. Once you turn the music off, I should make that an absolute point right now. Turn the music off and turn the um, voice recognition off so that then you can actually have a conversation with the person you're doing this with without the chef sort of skipping into the next um, section. So. I'll do, won't it? Mm -hmm. 
What is this for? Oh, I missed it. Did you? Oh, it smells so eggy. <laughs> I reckon that this is for people who somewhat know what they're oh, all, already doing. Here, I'll take over. It's not that, I mean, it's it's definitely thickening. Look, babe, that's looking slow enough. No, it's not, it needs to be thickening. But it's, it feels thick, you can feel the viscosity of it as you're... Yeah, but you, you need to do more. We're getting there? <laughs> Tell me something. <laughs> Are we getting there? I think so, Babe, that is looking thick. Look at that. No way, no. You can't unwhip it. Have we over whipped? You can't unwhip it. Serious, we'll take it out of the ice water. That's probably helping it whip. Half, so we're now doing half of that into here, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then no, whip. No, it's stir it in. Oh, it's it. We're on to the cooking phase. We need to get something to stir it. What are we doing here? We're just going over the sponge? Yeah. Or over everything? In. It's not very delicate. More delicate? Yeah. Coat the sponge with the rest of the espresso using a pastry brush or... Alright, so now what? Do we put the rest of the coffee on the top? Yeah. To put it in the fridge for how long? Three hours. I want it now. Three hours have passed, and I'm pretty excited to see the end result of this. We're on step 25 of 28, and the only remaining steps to do, I think, is just to decorate it. I'm scared. Leaked a little bit. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Have I just ruined it? No, it's okay. Oh. Well, at least we know the sponge is sort of soft. That wasn't too bad, actually. I don't know. What do you think? Does that look good to you? Have we just made yes. our first... G cooking guide DS meal. Okay, cheers. Blimey, you're going big. Mm hmm. You eat tiramisu more than I have ever eaten tiramisu. Is that good? That is so good. Is it actually good? Mm hmm. I could eat that whole thing. I love it. It tastes very nice. It tastes very, very nice. I feel like we probably could have made our own sponge. You know what? I don't think this deserves to be shovelware in a charity shop for a couple <laughs> quid. Our main course will be the judge of that. 